exhorter in a new age? Well, we really didn't have a choice. Uh, we were kind of thrust into the new age against our will. <laughs> so, last time we were exhorted, ex we were exhorted into it. So, the last time we recorded a record, you know, I mean, he's done a couple, um, but when I left the studio back in '92, there was still tape and people, you know, splicing shit with tape wrapped around the neck and stuff. With razors, yeah, with razors and shit. So scary, scary. You know, so it, it, it was a it was a new experience as far as the writing uh, process was concerned. I mean, me, me and him wrote most of the material on the, on the record, so there wasn't a whole lot of communication and writing going back and forth. But rehearsing that stuff was a challenge you know everybody's from different cities you gotta fly each other in. that's just the world we live in now so um it, it was okay though i went kicking and screaming but i've embraced technology yeah you've got advances in recording technology we have an entirely different ball game as far as media goes with the advent of the internet and file sharing etc so uh, I think it's just a matter of get on board or get left behind. So uh, we're, we're old men trying to figure it out. That's that's pretty much it. We're uh, uh, we, we've got definitely a whole different animal to deal with as far as equipment goes. Uh, the equipment is definitely more high tech, much nicer. I'm sure for you guys with the guitars. That's true. It's, it's streamlined a lot more, kind of like the old stereo systems that took up an entire wall. Now you can have that literally like this big. <laughs> so yeah, it used to take a half a million dollars back in our day to make a record that really sounded fucking good. Now fraction of that. Yeah, if if you can't make a good sounding album, then shame on you, because <laughs> I, I could do that upstairs in one of the bedrooms on my laptop.